to make my dreams come true. Puppeteering a child? This is a new low, even for you, Doctor. I will not tell you again. You will never control the Reverie. Now release her! <laughs> you won't deny me, Guardian. No, oh, the Dreamweaver's power should have been neutralized. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Looks like your intel was spot on, Rouge. Thanks for finding this place so fast. My pleasure, Sonic. Just don't forget my reward for helping. Can you find a way to get them out of this thing, Tails? I'm trying, Amy. It seems Eggman was using cream and cheese as a conduit to interface with that relic. I think he was trying to use them as a... filter, maybe? What's this thing even supposed to do? One second, Knuckles. According to the operational files, it can control dreams? Uh-oh. <laughs> I've heard of falling asleep, but that was ridiculous. <coughs> I am looking after your friends, but they will need your help. Okay, Madam Disembodied Voice, I made it here. Wherever here is. This is Reverie Haven, my home. Whoa! <laughs> well, nice to put a face to the voice. Likewise. I am R.E.M., Dreamweaver and Guardian of the Reverie. You, Sonic, need no introduction. Now, I need your legendary heroism and skill to recover the Dream Orbs. Oh, this? These contain the power of the Reverie, and allow me to Dreamweave. With enough of them, I can get us through the twisted dreamscapes Dr. Eggman has constructed. This way. We'll be able to restore each of your friends. Sonic! I knew you'd find us! Well, I had some help this time. I'm sorry. I'm not strong enough to free everyone yet. I've explained the situation to them, even though I cannot fully reach them yet. Tails seems to have grasped the situation especially well. From what REM's explained, each dreamscape is locked down like a secured bunker. We can wave from the inside, but we can't get out. Yes, I can use the power of the dream orbs and dream weaving to reunite you all. But I cannot help you wake up until I reconnect with the dream core. Well, Ari, anyone who wants to help out is all right in my book. Amy, you ready? Because it looks like we need to hustle and grab those dream orbs. Ari? Yeah. He likes to hand out nicknames. It means he trusts you. <laughs> well done. We have another part of the dream to explore. Is this enough to free everyone else? No. We still need to break down the security Eggman applied to this dream. Correct. The border between dreams is heavily guarded. That aside, we must reach it first. Then let's get going already. Yo, Ari, what exactly is the reverie supposed to, you know, do? It turns the dreams of the pure-hearted into reality. So someone could dream up anything, and you'd be able to make it happen in the real world? Hmm, interesting. Oh, don't get your hopes up. She did say pure-hearted. <laughs> huh? What does that even mean? I am mandated by my creators to only grant the Reverie's powers to those I deem to be of noble and virtuous intentions. It was this rule that led the Doctor to kidnap Cream. 
He thought that he could trick me if he filtered his evil dreams through an innocent mind. I was not decisive enough in repelling him. In the end, the best I could do was trap him in his own dreamscape. It's all good, R.E.M. We'll get your powers back and we'll stop him. We always do. This is the security Tails spoke of. We may only reach the next dreamscape through here. You know, I gotta admit, I'm kinda curious what he's been cooking up. Of course you'd be excited. You two chill here. I'll be right back. Uh, why do you get to have all the fun? Seaside Dream, Giant Enemy Crab. Why am I not sur- Wait, is that a mustache? We're through, and not just that. Oh, thank you, Miss R.E.M. And thank you two for all your hard work. Cream, I'm so glad you're finally free. Are you feeling all right? Yes. Uh, hi. <laughs> and cheeses, too. You hanging in there, partner? You know me. I've been trying to get a handle on Eggman's systems while you've been gathering dream orbs. I've determined Eggman can't use the Reverie's full potential without R.E.M.'s authorization. It's only a matter of time before he tries to force her to cooperate. Then we have to look out for Miss R.E.M. and keep her safe. Don't you worry. We'll all look out for each other. Now, let's hurry to the next dreamscape. R.E.M., do you know what's being pumped through the factory pipes? It's everywhere. The amber liquid is imagination, the essence of dreams. The darker fluid is Dr. Eggman's corrupted version, fueling his minions. It's literally nightmare fuel? Why would anyone want to make nightmares? Because he's a jerk. And he's a control freak. Oh, there has to be some kind of control station. Right? Good call, Amy. Let's get scouting. Whoa, so much data. Eggman's about to activate something called the Guardian Hunter. No prizes for guessing what that's supposed to do. So, how do we stop it? The good news is that its launch controls are just past the barrier. The bad news is that's where the security nightmares are waiting. So, one of us needs to fight our way to the off switch on the Guardian Hunter. I'll do it! I'll do my part! Cream, no! Oh no! Can we follow her? I need time to regain my strength. I'm sorry. Relax, Cream's got this. She's growing up on us fast, and she's got cheese with her. Yeah, I just wish we could do more to help. Oh, that's pretty scary! No! <laughs> Children shouldn't mess with other people's toys! I won't let you hurt Miss R.E.M. You've outlived your usefulness, you brat! Foreman, report to the control room, at once! Attack on sight! The Guardian likes what I've built for. Nice work back there, kid. Way to show up these amateurs. Mr. Knuckles, Miss Rose, 
Rouge, I'm so happy you're free! <laughs> yep, now we can help protect R.E.M. too. It's what Guardians do, right? Handsome one, isn't he? <laughs> sure, but he's such a brute. No class or tact at all. Uh, can we get back to stopping Eggman's plants already? Sounds good to me. Let's get moving. I've been going through Eggman's files, and I keep finding references to a dormancy protocol. It sounds like it'd ruin his plans. Do you know what that is, R.E.M.? Of course. The dormancy protocol is a safeguard my creators installed to shut down the reverie, should it fall into the wrong hands. When I get my powers back, I have to trigger it to ensure the Doctor's influence is erased. Once complete, the reverie will lock down and be completely inaccessible. For how long? As you perceive time. A millennium. A thousand years? But what happens to you? I wait. A guardian must be prepared to sacrifice everything for their cause. Tails! Is there anything you can do? Well, I am learning a lot about how the reverie works, but it's difficult to say. The best thing we can do is collect more data. Then there's no time like the present. Let's do it to it. the dream core. R.E.M.'s strong. We need to be strong too so we can help her, okay? Yeah. The amount of Eggman junk is getting overwhelming. This is the dreamscape the Doctor wishes to manifest in the waking world. That's it! He'll establish Eggman Land and the Eggman Empire in one fell swoop! It'll be instantaneous! No one will be able to stop him! But he can't make that happen without R.E.M.'s authority over the Reverie, right? Right. R.E.M. is the key to everything. Without her, he's stuck. But he's clearly got a plan. Whatever it is, we won't let him win. You sure you're up for this? I have to be. Arium? Oh, that must be the Dream Core. Encased by one of Eggman's nightmare constructs. Arium cut him off from the Reverie, so he cut her off from her own power. But it's out in the open. Oh, this must be a trap. Everyone, look out! Hold Arium. I'll go first to check it out. Ah, <laughs> oh, the poor widow dream weaver. It looks like the guardian hunter fulfilled its purpose after all. She tried to trap me in my own creation, but I control my dreams. And now you fools have delivered her to me. I've practically won. I won't let you hurt her anymore! This is my dream, and you lot are no longer welcome in it. Drop 
Your turn, kid. Make Aryan proud. You okay, buddy? Yeah, but we've got to get R.E.M. up there. There is no waking from this nightmare. Rest in peace, you worms. Tails, give me a boost. I'll make sure he's got his hands full. The nightmare's over, Eggman. Thank you, everyone. Now I shall fulfill my duty. No. I've come too far to fail now. My Eggman Empire will rule supreme! In your dreams. Nice work, Ari! What happens now? Now? You all get to wake up. Now that's what I call a power nap. All right. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing us, everyone. Anytime. So, what next? Breakfast? What about the dream machine and the reverie? Well, technically the reverie went into its dormancy protocol. It can't make dreams come true for another millennium. Oh, but Miss Ariam. I didn't get to say goodbye. No, but she knows we miss her, and we're happy she's safe. You're all missing a key word. What did you mean by technically, Tails? Uh, well, I may have been able to modify the protocol a teeny tiny bit. We should be able to speak to R.E.M. again, even explore the reverie. It just can't make dreams real. <gasps> really? Tails? I'm gonna take it back to the workshop and run some tests to make sure it worked. Fine. Take the relic. It's worthless to me now. But mark my words, the Eggman Empire will rise again. I will realize my dreams of world domination. <laughs> Cheese? Get him! No, wait. Uh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you back. That should do it. Cream, I think you should go first. Okay, thank you. Here goes. My, my. Tails really is clever. Hello, Cream. <laughs> <laughs> 